And when I got to college campuses, I realized anti-Semitism was rising. And most uh, Jews were very passive, were putting their heads down. And I asked a lot of the leaders of different organizations and heads of federations and rabbis at the time when I started university at UCLA. I asked them, uh, you know, why are we not doing something about it? Why are we not standing up? Why are we not debating? Why aren't we creating coalitions? I mean, you don't want to hear about black rights from KKK members. You don't want to hear about women's rights from misogynists. So why are the only people talking about Jews in Israel or those that are anti the Jewish people and anti-Israel? How does that make sense? And I was met with a response basically saying, don't worry about it, it'll go away. If you do something, it'll get worse. Don't rock the boat, don't worry. We've taken all our polls. We know how this works. You're new to this. And I realized that the problem was not how strong the anti-Israel movement was, but how weak we were, or non-existent we were. And I went on Google and I typed in number one most anti-Semitic university in North America. <laughs> Columbia University was listed number one, so I decided to transfer Hear to that, Columbia. Hear that, Columbia? <laughs> well, my brother is going there soon, so he's continuing the legacy. He's continuing? How's he doing? He's good. He you finished the army, uh, I think, two, two and a half years ago. And uh, he got into a dual enrollment program, two years at Tel Aviv, two years at Columbia. And so Amazing. now going to Columbia. That's wild though. Most people, you know, would maybe just advocate in place, if anything. I mean, as you said, first of all, I think passivity is, is kind of uh, the easy out. But then once somebody usually takes up the mantle, they take it up locally. You went to the heart of where the hate, so to speak, is. Yeah. <laughs> is that that's your that's your British experience? Well, maybe I'll tell you that when I was at UCLA, I was taking classes also at Santa Monica College. I was taking uh, classes in both both universities to do basically two years worth of school in one year. Okay. And while I was a student at Santa Monica, at the same time, many of uh, my peers were planning to transfer to other universities. And so the conversation came up often of where do you want to go? And I kept hearing from different friends, I'm not going to go to that school, it's too anti-Semitic. I'm not going to go to that school, there's too much anti-Israel stuff. Or the parents saying, oh, I'm sending my kids there, what are you, crazy? No way I'm going to send my kids there. And that's when I realized, like, we don't go to those places, who's going to go for us? I think non-Jews are going to go to Columbia and to these anti-Israel universities and change the narrative. And so I told myself, if I go to the hardest places and make a difference, then you can't make an excuse at your other university because I did it at the hardest place. So that was the the, the reason I, I chose to do that. God. <laughs> you're, a, you're a troublemaker. Have you ever heard that? I'm a, a light spreader. A light spreader. I go to the darkness to spread light. <laughs>